all around us, the political environment is more partisan than ever. So it's harder to, to keep the NDAA bipartisan. I am very grateful that this year we were able to pass it by a vote of 56 to nothing out of committee. Uh, but that's increasingly rare. Hopefully we can hold that together all the way through the process. This NDAA has a lot when it comes to cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, uh, hypersonics, other forms of new technologies, which not only do we need to develop for ourselves, but which adversaries are in many ways ahead of us. In addition to the regular planes and ships and tanks and so forth, you see a whole new domains of warfare that are reflected in this year's bill. Well, people have always got to be our number one priority. So this year's bill has a pay raise. It has probably more than we've ever done in an NDAA to focus on families, family readiness and family resiliency, which is a key part of having our service members ready to go to meet the nation's call. So people are always number one, not only continue to get and keep top quality people, but it, it makes us more effective as a fighting force. It's very important that we uh, make sure that when it comes to defense, there are no Republicans and Democrats, there are only Americans. And if you're a soldier on a hill in Afghanistan or on a ship out in the middle of the Pacific, you need to know that the whole country is behind you. That it's not a Republican bill or a Democratic bill, it's an American bill. We owe that sort of support to the men and women who risk their lives to protect our nation. We also need to give that sort of unified front to allies who are dependent upon us and we need to send that message to adversaries too to know that they cannot divide us one from another, that Americans are going to stand together in support of our interests. And, and, and this year I think it's particularly important for the American people to see that even though we have a lot of disagreements, we argue on a lot of issues, when it comes to American national security, we can put those differences aside and we can stand together. That their government can work. That this rich herit heritage that we have, especially when it comes to defense and our military, can continue even in today's partisan times.